It is not going to be a one-size-fits-all solution with outliers. Don't look for one. As with everything in data science, you need to understand the context that you're dealing with. What's an outlier? It is a weirdo, a data point that is not like the others in some way. So if you were to plot some data, you would see all your data points kind of near one another, and here's this other one that's way out over there. What do we do with outliers when we see them? Well, what you shouldn't do is just automatically snip, 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 prune that away. This isn't bonsai. You don't get to turn your data into whatever shape you feel like. No, you have to ask yourself, what is this outlier about and how does it relate to your project and your analysis? So let's imagine a situation where you believe that you have recorded the weights in pounds of human adults. And here's your nice data set full of weights in reasonable ranges, and here is one that is more than a ton. What is this, a human or an elephant? That should signal to you that something is going on that shouldn't be going on with your data. There is a mistake. Now, what do you do with something that is clearly a mistake or doesn't belong? Well, perhaps you might consider taking it out, but something else that you might do is you might consider making an additional column that says, don't trust this one, and then you might ignore that data point for the purpose of whatever you're doing. Like if you're doing regression analysis, you definitely don't want that in there. And if it's uninformative and misleading, you don't want to use it. Another thing that you might do is go and correct that data point. So here you see this is a data point about Cassie and her weight is the weight of an elephant. Well, go and remeasure her and put in that correct weight into the data set. Job done if that's practical and possible. So what are our options so far? Remove it, if it's definitely a mistake and you're sure of that, I'm pretty sure. Tag it as a probable mistake or fix it. But what if it's not a mistake? Don't make the mistake of looking at your data and saying, well, that one's awfully inconvenient. I'm just gonna throw that away. That should not be your first instinct. That might actually be your data set telling you that you have the wrong idea about how things work. Maybe this is the kind of distribution that gives very similar data points a lot of the time and then occasionally, whoop, here's a weird one. If that actually well represents your data and the kind of universe that you're trying to deal with, you don't want to snip that out. This is data science, this isn't bonsai. Presumably you're doing this to get some use and sense out of the data rather than some kind of Marie Kondo approach to any data point that doesn't spark joy. Uh -uh. That's not what we're doing here. If those data should be in there, leave them in there. Now, they might not work well with your algorithm or method. For example, a method that is very sensitive to outliers isn't going to work well here. Well, why don't you try a different method that will still work well? You want to pick the method that does the right thing for your application, your context, and your data. Might be awfully inconvenient, but you gotta face reality. What you're doing with the data matters. If I didn't know how human weights worked, then maybe I would think that it's perfectly reasonable to have an entry for weight like a few tons. Eh, uh, no. So domain expertise is pretty important in data science, and it is your needs, your application, plus your domain, that should guide your judgment in what you should do with things like outliers.